Now we're gonna go ahead and set up your uh, mobile phone number, your cell phone number with your Google Assistant. So we're gonna go ahead and again, go to our little user down here to the bottom right. Once you're there, you're gonna click on your settings. Once here, you're gonna go all the way over to services, and then you're gonna tap the first option, which is voice and video calls. Once you're there, you're gonna tap on mobile calling. And you'll see you get a few options here. You get your own number, which right now is unlisted because I haven't set it up, or your Google Voice um, account or your Google Fi account. If you have one of those, just go ahead and click this link and sign in um, to whichever one you might have. That way it'll automatically set everything up for you. If you don't, you just go ahead to your own number and click edit. You'll click add or change phone number. You'll put in your phone number right here and then click add. Um, once you click add, it will send you a verification code. And then once you type that in, you just click verify and you'll see your phone number will pop up here. So the reason you're gonna wanna go ahead and do this is you can actually use your Google Home product as a giant speaker phone if you want to and make calls from it. So when you tell it to call whoever on their end as long as you've put your phone number in and verified it it'll show up as your contact right it'll show up as your phone number your name however they set it up in their phone if you don't go and set this up it'll just show up as unlisted right and i don't know about you but i don't answer uh phone number that pops up as unlisted <laughs> so just make sure you go ahead and put in this information um, that way you can use it to make phone calls. A couple few things uh, to keep in mind here is you can use your Google Home Hub to make phone calls if you set this up, but you can't use it to receive phone calls. So you can't really go ahead and answer a phone call on it if you've done it um, this way. You can only make phone calls from it and you can't switch off you know halfway in uh, between the call so say you start the call on your Google Home device but now you need to leave the house but you still want to talk to that person you would actually have to hang up on the Google um, Home device and then start the call again on your phone so just a few things to keep in mind um, to end the call on your Google Home Hub device you can just say hey Google end and it will end the call or you can just uh, if it's a normal Google Home you just tap on the top. If it's a hub, it has an end button. Um, and depending on which one you have, there's a button on there that you can use to end the call. Um, if you wanna set up something like uh, video calling, so using uh, Google Duo. So if you have the Nest Home Hub or the Home Hub Max um, and you wanna make video calls, um, just make sure you know the Nest Home Hub Max is the only one with a camera. Um, so just keep that in mind that the smaller home hub does not have a camera on it, but it does have a screen. So to set that up, if you wanna make video calls with it, you'll just hit video and voice apps, and you'll just go and either create a Google Duo account if you don't already have one, or you'll link the account here if you want to. That way you can tell it to make um, video calls to someone else who has a Google Duo account, and you'll be able to uh, video chat if that's something you wanna do.